Peter has long been a disruptive force in academic publishing. The open access movement has been around for more than 10 years, but still the vast majority of academic research outputs are between paywalls in lockdown journals. Peter is joining the fellowship program and he is going to be working on his idea of the content mine. Now the content mine is a process for taking data and facts out of scientific uh, published information to be able to put it into the public domain. Um, and we are really interested to learn as a foundation how that maps on to the broader industry of the well, the, broad, the broader scientific industry and all of the big money behind it. What, what are the reactions going to be of the big journals? What are the reactions going to be of the institutional funders? And how can we help Peter mitigate some of the risks that he's going to come across whilst doing that? It is a risky idea, but uh, sometimes social change involves people doing the very thing that's shouldn't be done to get things moving, to get the debate started. While Peter will still be actively involved in the policy space, the, his idea that we're supporting is the content mine, and that is entirely action-based. Liberating facts from academic articles behind paywalls to make them accessible to other researchers and academics um, in order to build upon the work that's gone before. We would obviously love for Peter to, to do this unhindered, but we think he's going to face some opposition, and that's okay. Is it legal? Depends on who you ask. Is it the right thing to do? We think so. And the key question is going to be, will it have a lasting effect on the academic publishing world?